Guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Farai. I am a technician or electrician, whatever you want to call me. So, guys, uh, yesterday I received a call from a client. Uh, the call was uh, the refrigerator is running but is not cooling. So, I came here today. So, uh, what I do is for me, I just use the same compressor for the fridge to do uh, pressure to find if there are leaks. And also, I use the same compressor to do vacuum using a capillary tube. So I'm going to show you guys, I have realized that there was a, a leakage on the system. So because of load shedding, I just decided to do everything fast. Uh, guys, I want to tell you, before you do gas charging, you have to make sure that there is no leak or there is no any leak that you can, uh, you can see that the gas is leaking. If you cannot reach full vacuum or if you, if you see that your pressure is reducing, Okay, guys, you have to make sure that you go and repair that leak because retain jobs to retain after two weeks or even a month is wastage because you put the refrigerant or your freon, then after two weeks you come back to do the same to find the leak. So it's just wastage of time and resources. So, guys, I want to show you what I did and how I came to see the leak. So, this is a DeFi, it's a DeFi double door uh, with a freezer on top and a refrigerator at the, on the bottom at the, sorry at the bottom so guys i want to show you how i did everything okay guys so this is the the back of the refrigerator which i have removed so i could not manage to remove this here on top so i just decided to hang it on the roof so i can work beneath the the cover so guys what is happening here is uh, this is the condenser right here on the floor the condenser is still connected and the condenser is connected this is the pipe of the condenser or the discharge from the compressor as you can see that is this one going here and into the compressor right there and so guys as you can see that uh, we have a, a pipe that is wrapped in a pink uh, insulator okay guys so what is happening here is this is the this is the suction to the compressor so i have cut here so that i can pressurize the system when i realized there was a leak okay first what i did i put a, a service valve this is the service valve that i have put uh so after that i realized that there was a leak when i was pressurizing the system so as for me i just used this compressor because i have had like three compressors which are no longer working because I was do I was using them for vacuum and for pressure so I just realized that there is another way that I can do so I have cut here so if you cut here and leave this one open and if you switch on the compressor the compressor will just going to pressurize through the condenser and the suction it will be at the same pressure so what I did since you know that this one is a suction uh, if you come here this is our our, our filter dryer right here so this is the discharge ne? And it's getting here through the compressor and this is the outlet of the condenser right here so i have put uh, uh, another capillary here where i have connected so this is uh, the capillary this one this is the capillary i've connected to the discharge so right now uh, since i'm just using this one because i just brought the the low gauge so sorry guys i've just overcharged it so it's over 220 psi so I'm using here, so this one is what I'm using to measure my pressure if there's any decrease or whatever. So guys, <coughs> I've put a capillary tube here and a service valve here so that I can put my walls to see the pressure. And also, uh, I have cut here. So uh, we are pressurizing the air from the atmosphere into the fridge using this port. Here there is a valve there. <coughs> Okay, guys. So first of all, I removed uh, this back panel here because I see that my condenser using this. Uh, okay, here I use sunlight liquid mixed with uh, with water. That's what I use when I'm finding leaks. So I just sprayed it here on the condenser like this, on the condenser right through, so I did not see any leak right there. So what i did guys is uh i've just removed it so i can remove the back cover after removing the back cover i started from this point so i started to chop to remove this uh this foam using a knife like this so this is how i did it until i reached that point so when i was here i i found out that the the copper pipe is decaying i don't know if you can see that but the pipe was decaying, so I thought maybe this is where the leak is. So I started to spray here my my solution of sunlight liquid or any soap liquid with uh, with water. So I realized there was no leak. 
so I tried to follow it through and I said now this aluminium is still perfect so what I did I started to follow the capillary tube you can see that the capillary tube is insulated here with the suction pipe here so it's it's going to join there on the evaporator so as you can see they've rolled it over here uh, they just rolled it here mostly we see that they roll it at the bottom but as for this defy they rolled it inside there so what happened is there was there were spaces there so over time it started to leak on the capillary tube if you can see there you can see some bubbles there if i can spray there you can see bubbles and they are little leaks throughout this capillary tube if you can see there there's another leak there's another leak right there so they're just a leak and you can even see that this copper pipe is decayed so guys what i'm going to do right now is uh, i'm just going to to cut here to remove this copper so that i will just join this capillary tube to the evaporator to the aluminum evaporator and i'm going to use an aluminum solder so uh, i don't think i will do this tomorrow i'll come back uh, tomorrow because so i don't think i'll do it today i'll do it tomorrow because i did not bring the copper rods and even i don't have the foam with me here today so guys this is how you you find a leak if you if you see that it's leaking don't recharge a system if you suspect or if you think that or if you see that there is a leak it is a wastage of time resources and also confidence in your clients because they won't believe you after two weeks then they call you after two weeks it's not good you have to make standards for your name so guys uh, what i'm going to do i told you that i'm going to just to unroll this one i have to see uh, where it is too perfect then i'm just going to connect from this point i just cut it and put it here direct in the i'll just put it there in i will just join the capillary tube direct to the evaporator uh, and I'll use an aluminium. Then I will just put foam throughout. Then I'll put back. I'll put the bay, the cover, which is this one, bake. So I'll show you tomorrow after I'm done with everything. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for keeping some watching my channel. Please guys subscribe for more. I do electrical repairs, fridge, washing machine, oven, uh, cold rooms. So you have to subscribe to the channel and switch on your notifications so that you can see like these. These are practi a practical videos where we we'll show you what is really happening in the field. So guys, thank you for watching and subscribing. Share with your friends and those stay ambitious. Okay, guys, I just decided to show you this part. Uh, when I was trying to just uh, unroll this capillary tube right here to just see if it's fine or if I can use it. And I realized there was a big leak. You can see this. You can see it's like me. Oh. So guys, make sure that you made this leak. So I'm just going to cut this one away, the capillar, so that I'll just find another one. You put a, a new capillar right there. Oh, oh, oh.